the titles are a reflection of how I feel. That's why I put, how could I be 20-something all alone, still not a phone of my name? I have nothing to my name. I feel like a bomb. I have nothing to my name. I value materialistic items so much, and I hate myself for doing that. But it's like in the song says. Sick of the devil, feeding me them lies. I swear that I felt God on that Thursday night. I truthfully feel so uncomfortable talking about God just because I like men. I don't know why. It's just a stereotypical Christian thing. You know what I mean? Like, if you grew up Christian, being gay is bad. And the last verse of that song, he said, I felt God on that Thursday night. The first time I ever felt God. Like, I really, like, I, I talk to God every single day, multiple times a day. But the first time I ever felt him was when my cousin went to jail and my whole family went over to my uncle's house to pray over him. And that was the first time I ever felt him there. And I prayed to God. Prior prior to that, I was always praying to God. I I always prayed to God. I always remember to thank God for everything he's done for me and everything he's taken away and given me because he's taken things that one day I'll talk to you and say I want to there's things I want to talk about that I don't feel comfortable talking about yet because I'm scared of criticism and I'm scared I don't want people to know I don't like people knowing anything about me I want to give what I want to give you like (laughs) I'm not saying I'm God but (laughs) you know what I mean like I'm gonna give you what I want to give you when I want to give you it my next YouTube video is gonna be totally contradictory to this but let's just live in the moment and film how we feel. I really love this song I'm playing. What's well, instrumental? What it's called? I just want to feel your love again by Mon Selfish. This is such a beautiful song. I feel like it could be played in the Curious George movies, like you know, like the first one. Amazing. You hear those people saying, "Oh, am I gonna be single for the rest of my life?" But truthfully, it's me. Sadly, it's me. Am I ever going to feel love from another man ever in my life? Like, I mean love. Like, I'm not gonna mess, I'm not gonna fuck with no nigga who's a slut. I'm not gonna fuck with no nigga who's a whore. I mean love. I want to get married like the Curry stuff at Naisha. Like, I want to get married and live in the middle of nowhere and run my business. But personally, I just want to live in the middle of nowhere and run my business. Then that could come along marriage. But I don't know if it's meant for me. What if what I want is not what God wants? What if he has me being a whore? Pray to God it's not that. And this video is just meant to be listened to in the background when you're in the middle of the night doing nothing and just want to listen to something. Don't watch it. Just listen. I really don't feel like a normal person sometimes. Like, I don't do things 20-year-olds do. People my age do. I occasionally like to go out and have fun and drink, but that doesn't satisfy me. I don't need that. I would like to go out without drinking. I don't have to drink to go out to have fun. I just need to be around good company. I don't... I want to be... Have fun alone. I want to go out alone. I want to travel the world alone and I can't do that I just need to blow up first please help me with that <laughs> like to you know, I just want to be alone and build a community of people that care for me and I care for too this is a 50-50 split baby you blow me up I blow you up you know I just really need I don't know if it's going to fix all my problems if, let's say, I get famous. What is that going to do? It could fix a lot of problems. But it could bring a shit ton more. Am I ready for it? Probably not. I'm going to say I'm ready for it. But I know God will bring it out at the time he wants it to come. Everything. He'll give me everything I want. No. Not everything I want. Everything I need. He knows the things I need right now. And it's not a Chanel bag. Dear God, I pray to God when I get money, do not go buy a Chanel bag first because we might have to pay that. I'm joking. No, I'm not. I'm joking. I'm only going to buy that when I feel like I need it. Like 
I, I will only buy a Chanel bag when I deserve it. And I need to get this out of my mind. I talk to myself all the time at night thinking, oh, if I buy these shoes, it'll make me feel better. If I buy this bag, if I buy a Chanel bag, it's going to change my whole world. No, it's not. Materialistic items will not change your life, JC. Why do you keep thinking this way? I don't know why. I saw this TikTok the other day saying how we're always like, oh, we want men to buy us this, buy us that. We're modern day prostitutes. Like, that's our modern day prostitutes. Like, I'm going to be like, oh, I'm going to make this nigga buy me this. I'm not saying I am that because I do not do anything. I do, I've not even kissed a man. I will not touch a man. But in our generation, I fell in love with the Instagram baddie. The bad bitch who's just like ass fat. Like, I'm talking 2017, 2018, 2019 baddie. Who... Like, you're gonna trick a nigga. Like, every song talks about this. I mean, nigga, buy me a bag, pay for my shoes. That's my mindset I fell in love with. And that mindset is like, what is that gonna do for me? What is a $2,200 pair of Givenchy Shark boots gonna do for me? What is my Chanel XXL that cost $8,000 gonna do for me that I could get for $2,000 and still have no fucking car? What is that going to do for me? The only way I would buy Chanel XXL if I got it for a good deal and I'm firm paying it. But what is that going to do for me? I need a car. I need a home. I want a new place to live. I want my own car. I want to go state to state and thrift and bring you along and blow the fuck up and not go crazy. I always think to myself, if I blew up when I was younger... I would have blew it on bags for sure. Shoes, yes. But would I have been a D-R-U-G addict? Like, I don't think so. But in my head, in the last couple of weeks, I've been getting realizations of me doing C-O-C cocaine. Like, I don't know why. If I was younger, like, I would have been like a fucking juggie. But, like, I don't think I would. But I don't know. I don't know. I just need to talk. The next video is going to be me showing you things I bought for a good deal. And showing you how to shop which kind of contradicts this video but sorry no i'm not sorry for the next video if you have a problem with it that's what my whole channel is just me shopping specifically buying things i can't afford because i can never afford anything i buy